right, guys, I'm here in 8 Studios. You see the 8x10s, dreams are coming true. There's the man himself. I got so much more shit I can't hang up, but anyway. We need more room, folks, what we're trying to say. Look at this right here. Look at this beast. Now, I hooked up the Evil Dead 2 poster at uh, Horror Hound in Cincinnati. But of course. So we did a little trade-off. I was like, hey, you're going to Texas Frightmare? I'm a big ghost fan. Die hard. Now, he had to go through hell and high water. Went above and beyond the Call of Duty. But that's what five-star generals do, correct? That's all I do, baby. Yeah. That's all I do. Above and beyond. Look at that, guys. Now, if anybody knows ghosts, they use the stamps for the ghouls. Stamps. Those aren't stamps. Those are actually written with a sharpie by the ghouls. I don't see too many of those. I have not seen any. Have you even seen one? I, I have not seen them. But they, they they knew how to do it, so I'm sure they've done it before, but I have not seen any. So if anyone wants to comment below, I'm sure there are some. I have not seen them uh, personally. But, well, shit, I'll take over from here. I'll let you take back over. The memorable part of this, this is a one of one. Not only is that a limited edition vinyl and all that shit that he gave me to go with, but as far as in Texas Frightmare on the floor is a consumer, a guest, whatever you want to fucking call me, I was the only one to get that shit signed on the floor. Like I said, it might have happened in a back room somewhere. A staff member could have got something signed or probably stamped. But anyway, um, I was the only one to get that shit signed by Papa. If there is another person, then if... You, I, you, I think you got it signed in between the walls because I didn't see you and I there was only one point where we missed out of them and that's where they crossed in between walls. So And then when they left out the walls in the back area to the elevator or whatever. So we were running along with them the whole time with the staff, with the staff going, go over that way, we'll be over there. You fucking liar. No, you won't. But some people were believing that shit and leaving. But it was disgusting, man. People got trampled. But in a safe way. In a safe way. And I maneuvered my way in a safe position of, you know. And which is kind of crazy, too, because when you have a vinyl in your hand, you got to switch off when you do that. you got to protect the vinyl as a collector's. you have to be very careful. That's some skills right there. I'm going to let you take back over, man. So anyway, 8 had a hell of a time, but man, above and beyond, dude. Guy's a warrior. Sergeant York of horror right here. Five-star general shit. Yeah, you don't call that A-team. You call that Eight team, son. <laughs> right there, got that done. Got Papa for me, man. If you're not in this band, if you don't know about this band, you're not listening to this band, I can say about it. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, very satanic. Oh, we went to the fucking show, bro. To top off the vacation, can I, can I, can go can ahead, I man. Me? Fucking preach. So, to top off the vacation, I knew he was in Florida and they were coming this way. And because I was all Texas fright married and blah, 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 and stuck into the fact this is my only chance to meet Ghost live in person, probably, because I haven't heard they've been doing anything after their shows or blah, 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 anything I catch online of them signing something, they don't do it anymore. Or, like, you get there and the vinyls are pre signed and they're not in the greatest color, so it doesn't look that original like that motherfucker right there. But. Anyway, so I didn't know they were coming back to town. So as I get back in town on Monday, you called me, what was it, Tuesday night? Yeah, I, I texted like, you, yeah, Tuesday. Yeah. You're like, hey, are you going to the show? I'm like, what show? You're like, ghosts, man, they're the fucking beach them. So me, after spending a shitload of money in Texas, I'm starting to scrape it together. I'm like, fuck, I gotta go. I get up there, we go, and dude, it was one of the best shows that I've ever fucking been to. They rocked the house. And I didn't know... That they were known like that. You know, when I first heard about them, they were kind of a, a ripple in the water. You know what I mean? That fucking ripple has turned into a wave, man. That crowd was... I can't wait till they come back. I, I'm, I'm ready. To, when I left that night, I was ready to go again. Like, I wanted to go see them again. If they would have came <laughs> there the next night, I would have told them. I would have been like, hey, I'm going. I'm going. I'm fucking going. And their shirts were badass too. Oh, dude, they had they. That's probably one of the best all-time uh, merch stands ever. They had a lot of variety, a lot of horror tributes and dildos. And Scarface, yeah, you dildos. Want. You They're see those? Fucking that's fucking crazy, dildo. dude. Damn. I was almost gonna get you one, but you know. That's <laughs> so why I would have took it, man. You know, <laughs> put it on the dresser. Yo, that's but uh, badass. That shit's incredible. If you get a chance to go to a ghost show. Highly yeah. recommended. And I'm not saying that because I don't know them nothing. They don't know me. It ain't no bullshit like that. Just because I have a skull mask, it doesn't mean anything. I'm telling you, you will not regret it. Those motherfuckers are hardcore when it comes to the message they deliver. What'd you think? 
Dude, I, it was fucking awesome. Of course, you know, I spent a lot of time videotaping the show, so if you missed the show, yeah. by all means, check out my other videos. You'll see some more. You'll actually see the show. You know, I zoom in. This camera's fucking awesome for picking up good sound. Got my favorite song on there, too. Got my favorite song recorded on there, too. No. Oh, shit. I don't have to break this to you, but I didn't record uh, Ghost. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, could, no, no, no. No. Which one? Year Zero? Year Zero. Okay, I thought yeah. you. I thought your favorite song was uh, no, If You Got you Ghost. See, you see the church on the corner down here? Oh, yeah. That's my favorite shit to bump when I'm driving. Hoo, hoo, hoo. <laughs> I mean, and people, and people just... They get that look in their eye, and I'm like, what? <laughs> if you come to my door and knock on it, motherfucker, and try to preach me the shit that you preach, then beware. Yeah. Then fucking beware. That's fair, right? Oh, that's fair, dude. You know, yin and yang, man. Yin and yang in relationships, Satan and God. Look at that shit, man. Yo, if anybody online has anything signed by them in pen, please post that shit. Because, yeah, and I, see it. Oh, by the way, that's Papa right here, all this with the you know upside down cross. But look, right here, those are the those are the ghouls. Now I didn't get now that's the other thing I told Tim. I didn't get five of them. So I don't know who's who, but there was one that was missed, and if you know anything about that group, they all dress the same, so you cannot tell nope. them apart. And I wasn't about to have the same guy sign the same symbol twice. You guys don't understand what this crowd was like. I had to be a fucking shark. I had to be black ops. I had to be fucking Sergeant Slaughter to get this shit done. But it's an amazing story, and I'm never going to forget it, and I'll definitely tell it to grandkids that I'll never have. So it'll probably be somebody else's grandkids, but it's going to be a story. And what Ada's trying to say, this this is like a boy band, but instead of screaming teenage girls, it's grown-ass men. Yeah. With the same attitude. Oh, yeah. Fucking arms up and shit, double points up. Like, yeah! I mean, it was, God, there was just one point. Oh, when Ghost left the stage, we got that fucking encore, didn't we? Oh, sweet. That dude. fucking play, that was awesome. Like, I've seen, I've been in part of places where there's a little tap-tappy and a little clap-clappy, and the band comes back. There was no <laughs> way those motherfuckers would have left Orlando without no, coming back. Dude, that was that awesome, fucking dude. that shit was about to get torn. That's a good ghost chant right there. That was yeah, and it's it for me to chant for you. You have to be pretty incredible. Like I ha really have to be enjoying myself. And most shows, I can just sit down and say, "Oh, it's decent." But yo, I was right with that. I'm like, no fucking way. Go, 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 go. I mean, it was fucking that whole wall was just rumbling. And if you know anything about the Beecham, ooh. I was surprised how many people were in that motherfucker. We, had, we were sitting pretty well. Dude, we, we got in. great... That's good for filming, dude. That's perfect yeah, spot. Yeah, where we were at. Yeah, I got... It sounded great. Man, oh, dude, I, man. I ain't trying to be in a sea of armpit sweat. No. So, where I was at was perfect. We had the right height, the right view. We could see everything. And, yeah, man, I'm really impressed by that band, especially live. It's, they sound great, dude. I, and it's very rare that I can say, I like it better live than I do on a CD. I am not just saying that. Their guitars, everything is so much fuller live, and I was very impressed like that. And when they played If You Have Ghost, man, it's like a big sing-along in that if motherfucker, you have dude. Oh, yeah, that was fucking just ripples through the audience. I was singing right along. And the, the other thing is, like, imagine this. Like, hearing them on CD is like, imagine listening to acoustic Bob Dylan. Not that they sound like that at all. And then seeing them live would be like the heaviness of Five Finger Death Punch. Like, it, it just it just went from this to this live. And I'm like, what the fuck? And the guitars. I, I thought that Papa was going to, like, steal the show. And that it would just be like the ghouls kind of dancing around the background. No, they fucking held their These own. These guys are professional musicians. These guys aren't they no Swedish garage band. Nah, man. By there's no something means. with that. They, they, yeah, yeah, nobody knows their identity, man. That's yeah. the great thing. It's got that kiss mystique from back in the day. Yeah, nobody knows who they are. It's nice, man. It's nice. Keep those fucking masks on as long as you can, guys. You know how hard Make it that is money. to protect your identity. Ooh. Ooh, that's fucking hard, oh, isn't it? A lot of people thought they were going to get the unmasking, but they got the breakdown of the bod, dude. Why would they think they would get an unmasking? Because remember you did the little sneak preview you were in the mirror, you yeah. know, and you did the little tease with the mask. Oh, like, that oh, was yeah. artistically speaking. Yeah. Gotcha. Artistically speaking. Now, I'm not saying I'm never going to take the mask off. I could take it off right now. Oh, I just had an itch right there. But I'm just saying... <laughs> For me to take the mask off, you know, and forever give this identity, I gotta be able to move away to a fucking island somewhere. So am I willing to trade that? Can you pay for my island? Let me know. Now, a lot of people might think, A, that I got to see you without the mask on. No, when I show up the door, I gotta be blindfolded. I'm patted down by two girls in like bikini outfits. I'm immediately blindfolded until you put on the mask. T to make it into Camp 8, which is off the streets, 
Like, this is... You can't GPS it here. This is way back in the middle of fucking nowhere. You know, and how you get here, you have to be blindfolded, put in the back seat, spin the car around a couple times to get your fucking medulla oblongata thrown off, and then we bring you here. And then when you leave, it's worse. Yeah. <laughs> Should we bring up the Jill? Now tell us yes. all the trouble we had to get through to get the Jill Whitlow here. Well, Jill Whitlow was like making pancakes compared to fucking meeting ghosts. It was very simple, but Jill Whitlow, as you know, is sexy. And she's still looking good. Damn, she does still look good. And uh, we went to her table, and it was kind of awkward because... The, can I tell the stinky guy story? Go ahead, man. Tell us. Yeah, tell me. All right, man. I'm on Straighten least, their I'm, shit out I'm when they go to conventions. I'm glad I saved a few stories. Um, we go up to Jill Whitlow's table, and all of a sudden we are hit by this brick wall of stank shit. And I mean like a wiry, lemon-scented shit. So you gotta mix the shit, and then B.O., and it's like that kind of smell. Like, oh, fuck, that's so close to being shit, but it's not. It's armpit stink sweat. But heavier than that, like fucking gooch crust or something. It was just really bad, and lemony scented and not anywhere near lemony fresh like lemony fucking fish stinky but i want to go fish just more bo pit stink really bad so we're sitting there and it's happening and my wife's like babe we got to go and i'm like no well, i gotta get this you know this tim and blah 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 and uh so finally this guy leaves and me and my wife are like looking at jill batting our eyes like holy shit and my wife's like let's walk over this way and you see jill go oh, trust me i know i know that poor girl oh, God. was sitting there talking to that guy, and he was just flooding the fucking airwaves with being old pit stink. And it was really bad. But anyway, so I meet her, and I'm like, Jill, I met you before at Spooky Empire. You know, you remember me from way back? She's like, of course I remember you, eight. I would never forget. I remember the mask, and you're, I remember because your eyes. You're just a very sexy man in a mask. And she asked me if I'd take the mask off for her. I told her, Jill, I'm married. And things got awkward for a little moment in front of my wife. Once <laughs> Once the air calmed back down, I said, but look, this is for my friend. She was like, hey, I'll do anything for your friend. And I said, all right, this is what I need. Can you sign it to Tim? He couldn't make it here. She was so nice. She held up the picture. I took a picture for Tim and all that. You got that one. And then, uh, hold up, something else happened. Oh, yeah, I got to tell. I kind of fucked that one up because I left the table. Here's the truth. I left the table afterwards. I was so happy to get on. I'm like, all right, I got all this guy's shit. I got his ghost. Which is the powerhouse, and I'm glad that that story happened because it kind of makes up for how much he put into that Evil Dead poster because that was a lot of shit he got signed. So then I get Jill, and I'm like, all right, I'm redeemed. And I'm leaving, and I'm walking away, and I tell my wife, I'm like, fuck, I didn't get any pictures. I just walked away <laughs> from the table with a fucking picture. So I go back, and I'm like, Jill, she's like, clear the line. She, there were, Of course, the line was filled back up. She, she told the guy, the little security dude, pull the line back. I came back in. I'm like, thanks, Jill. I said, can you take a picture of this real quick? I completely forgot in the spur of the moment because you looking at your eyes. I don't know. It did something to me. I just went to nowhere land for a minute. Could you take a picture with this for my friend, Tim? She's like, hey, I'd be happy to do anything for you or your friend. So she took the picture. What a blessing. And all jokes aside, though, she's a very, very nice woman. And she was nothing but nice to me and my wife and was the last time we met her at Spooky Empire. Always great to the fans. And yeah, man, that picture's pretty fucking sleek with the shotgun. That's a good hookup, man. Boom. Oh, I got now that. You, now you meet yeah. him. You get him to sign it. Yeah, I got to get that guy to sign it now. Uh, I'm, has this guy ever done a convention, this dude? He's I, had to have, right? What's he doing in life? I think he has. If he's still alive. Or was know? it the other guy? Because someone signed the one I have of them, but it's smeared when I picked it up. That's mm -hmm. the only thing that I have that's like smeared nasty. Pissing me off. I think it was my cover they signed. Maybe. I don't it's know. an underrated movie right there. Yeah, it's a good movie. Yeah. Night of the Creeps is the shit. It's no Night of the Demons. Ooh. Night of the Demons, but fucking amazing. We gotta get somebody in Indiana to get us some Night of the Demons. Dude, I need that Night of the fucking Demons. <clears throat> What's up? Who's up for a trade, man? We got a rock and roll yeah. show on there. Mayhem's about to happen. Big Halloween. If you're a Halloween fan, I want some Night of the Demons poster signed. If you want all that Halloween shit signed up, John Carpenter, you let me know. We can make a trade, but you're gonna send the money. And I'm going to send the money to you. Because I don't do trades. Like, I get all this shit and then yeah. I'm just standing Pay here with it. And then it all says, to fucking Bobby. And now i got to wait to sell this shit to some guy named Bobby. No, but seriously, think about that. Me and Tim, we want some uh, Night of the Demon shit signed up. So if anybody wants some Halloween shit, we're going to make a trade, baby. We can make a trade. 
Hook us up, peeps. That's about it, We'll man. take some Dar Dario Argento shit, too. Oh, yeah. shit. I'm meeting Lloyd Kaufman in Miami. Come on, now. We're going to that Miami one. So. Yeah. If and the hot blonde from Cabin in the Woods. If you're a Spartacus fan, Dang I don't know if drones. I can get all the motherfuckers, though, because who knows how much they're charging. Those Comic-Con things, it's kind of weird. Sometimes they charge a lot. And the hot redhead from Games of Thrones, the guy that played Conan and the Dark Draki leader. How, He's gonna how, be there. how high is the girl, the redhead in the Game of Thrones? Like, is her? She's a prostitute. She's she's in a she's in it solid for like the first two seasons. She gets killed by Joffrey, oh, uh, doing bow and arrow practice. Seen it yet, oh my bad. That. Spoiler oh. alert. <laughs> Post spoiler Fuck alert. Up. Yeah. That Forget what you fun. heard. Please give a please give a notation before that shit happens. <laughs> Oh, man. Right there. Good scores, guys. Making dreams come true. Five-star uh, general shit. The 18, son. And, and boop, fucking boop, boop, Sharpie. Boop, boop. Not a stamp. Dude, that black showed up good on there. Too. Not a stamp. Yeah, yeah, I was impressed by that. Must have been worthy. Pop. That is Gia's worthy. Pop. Get that framed up, son. Good score. Pound it right there. Boom. Motherfucker looked at me. He looked right at me after he signed it. Said, there you go. Powerful words. Yeah. I was impressed. Panties got wet when he spoke. My panties got wet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not in a fucking gay way. Not that it would matter. Yeah, in a respectable way, you know? In a respectable, yeah. like, horror geeking out way, like, there you go. See, right there. You can jizz in your pants right there, and it's out of respect. Fuck no yeah. homo, just strictly respect. And you just rub it against yeah. the table of who was ever signing your shit, and it's like you marked your prey. You marked your prey right there. People do it all the time, trust me. It happens, man. I go to a lot of conventions. All right, peeps. That's some good shit. You don't have it, I do. Yeah, that's why I'm better. So, yeah, if anyone has that shit, post that video. I want to see someone with that shit. No, nobody just, has that shit. I don't. I want to see nobody. if somebody does. You know what? They're going to see this video, and then they're going to start doing it. Because yeah. they're going to be like, that fucking guy on YouTube. Those fucking assholes in Orlando. shit. Yo. Speaking of that... Don't hate us because we got the best Blu-rays. We got the best movie posters. Yeah. It's all right, man. It's the land of hate. All right, peace out. <laughs>